Welcome to the NBA's Greatest Games. Today, we'll take you back into NBA history and relive one of the great matchups as it happened. And here come the Warriors down the run. Clifford Ray is really playing hard basketball. Charles Johnson takes it right through, lays the ball up, and no good. Again, the Warriors get the penetration, Jerry West, but they could not get the basket. John, the one thing they haven't got is penetration throughout this series. They've been playing a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball, and Phoenix has played them very well. And here is a foul call. It's going to go against the Golden State I Warriors. I beg your pardon, Don. It's a 24-second clock is messed up. Jerry, I think indication of just how tough this game is is the fact we've played almost a minute now. There's not a point on the board. Well, Don, I think the most important thing is we talked about in the pregame, or we didn't talk about in the open show, the defense is going to be very tough inside, and uh, I really feel that that's going to be the key of this ball game. Barry shoots. And again, he cannot hit, but Charles Johnson takes the ball away from Westfall. Now they look to go inside again. Barry moving on the out perimeter. Rick Barry looking to go inside. Dancing in low with the ball. Barry looking to get it to Clifford Ray. And a three-second violation. And Jerry West, these young men have played over a minute now without a point up. Don, they're very, both teams are very tight. Important ball game like this. You just have to be a little tense early. Golden State missed two layups. Had a couple of charging calls so far. And those are really the signs of being nervous. side for so many of these NBA games. Rick Barry. Of course, in every damn shot they get. And Ricky Silvers out of the Whit Clinton High School in New York fires it in. I'll get down and I will get get, get. Huh? Rick take a swing it's over. Oakland Alameda County Stadium, a very dramatic turn of events at the outset of this game. This is Don Pricky with Jerry West. You saw the score, 2-2, but moments ago, just moments ago, a fight erupted between Rick Barry of the Warriors and Ricky Sobers of the Phoenix Suns. And neither player is out of the game. This is what happened. Uh, there have been a lot of contact, as you might expect, in this seventh and deciding game. Barry and Sobers will both stay in the game, but technical fouls have been assessed against both teams, so really, with no shooting, uh, nothing really happened. There's no personal foul assessed to the player, but it came very close to both teams losing a starting player. Don, when you have a ball game this important, I don't think Golden State expected to be here. There's Ricky Silvers, one of the participants in the fight, along with Rick Barry. And when you get this far, and the Golden State Warriors are a foul ball club, and they don't want to give up 
this Western Division Championship nor the World Championship so easily. And that's why you see so much emotion in this ballgame already. We have nine and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. They did not score for the first minute and a half of this game. Here is Jamal Wilkes throwing up an air ball, and Alvin Adams takes it down for the Phoenix Suns. Dover brings the ball up court. Barry has a swelling on the right side of his face, left side. He took a pretty good shot, it appears. Very, very physical game. I don't think we've seen the last altercation. Westfall puts it up, and Paul Westfall gives the Phoenix Suns a 4-2 to two lead. We have nine minutes to go in the first quarter. The NBA on CBS, and this is where it's at in the NBA playoffs. The seventh and deciding game, the upstart Phoenix Suns against the Golden State Warriors defending champions of the league. Rick Perry can fight back and thrills the long shot. And it's again tied. Jerry West. Don, the one thing that might have hurt Golden State in this playoff so far is that they have been doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball, and particularly with a lot of dribbling. Many times when you dribble the ball too much, it's very easy to play defense. So Golden State's going to be have to be conscious of moving the ball. Ricky Sobers fires up a shot. They're booing Sobers every time he has the ball. It is a 4-4 game. Golden State and the Phoenix Suns. This is Charles Johnson working in the backcourt with Phil Smith, who now has the ball for Phoenix. And Smith starts to take it down in the middle of the lane. Here is a flip out of whistle from official Earl Straub, who is working the game with Joe Gashu, and the call is going against Phoenix. Well, these officials are going to have to do something to really get this ball game under control. As you mentioned earlier in this ball game, a lot of contact inside. The fight breaks out. Both teams want this game very badly, and the officials are going to play a very important part in keeping this game under control. Well, they were very close to Rick Barry and Sobers being ejected, but they both went now. The Phoenix Suns get the ball back as an errant pass inside goes off the fingertips of Phil Smith. And here come the Suns. Game time. We have eight minutes left to go in the first quarter. Not much scoring so far. Both teams very tight. Here's a foul on Charles Johnson. Bodyguarding Ricky Sobers who brought the ball up. Sobers, the rookie out of Nevada, Las Vegas. Two rookies starting for this Phoenix Sun team. The Phoenix Suns, midway through the season, looked like odds on to finish last in their division. But they roared back in the second half of the season, finished 42 and 40. Then upset Seattle in the first round of the playoffs in six games. And now I'm taking the defending champions of the league, Golden State, to a seventh in the deciding game of the Western Finals. The upset, John McLeod, the Phoenix coach, said, Our number one priority is not losing our composure back in the game. That's when Golden State has beaten us and they've taken the early lead. That was Charles Johnson giving the Warriors the lead six to four. Without well, a thing that Golden State's going to do, they're really going to trap the ball inside. I think they're going to take a great rebounding effort in this ball game. Golden State has not had a good rebounding effort in this playoff to get this ball club. That's right. In game five or game six on Friday night, as Rick Perry shoots and hits again, Phoenix had a 13 offensive rebound advantage. John, John the crowd's going to call timeout. As you mentioned, he just does not want them to lose their composure early in this ball game. So we have seven minutes and 17 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And the score, as you see it, the Warriors eight, the Phoenix Suns four. Vince Carter take it over. Incredible. Indeed. Wow, what hasn't he done tonight? What a finish. Oh, my. What a shot by Jameson. That was remarkable. Continues. That's as good as it gets. That's all about hustle right there. Deep three. She got it. Diana Tarashi getting off to a hot start. Don't bring that weak stuff in here. Oh, oh my goodness. Somehow gets the roll. This is amazing. What a move. What a pass. Oh, what a pass. I'm Chris Paul of the New Orleans Hornets, the NBA, where caring happens. Play hard, play smart, play together, all right? Holy smokes! Oh, it's going to be that kind of game, is it?
this isn't the best game in league history, it's up there. Holy smokes! This is what the WNBA is all about. Unbelievable! Four tenths remaining in the fifth game. Here they go. They get it to Fisher. He scores! Oh, Fisher scores at the buzzer! We got to take a look at it, but I got to tell you, live, it looked good. You know, at the risk of being a shill, now I know why they say we love this game. We love this game. What a, that's just unbelievable. I'm Bruce Bowen of the San Antonio Spurs. The NBA, where caring happens. Welcome back to the NBA's greatest game. Today's NBA playoff game is sponsored by the Bell System. Long distance is the next best thing to being there. And by... The Miller Brewing Company, brewers of Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. Back to live action. Ricky Sobers drives with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Cannot get the roll, and the ball comes down to Jamal Wilk. The Warriors on the run. They're up 8-4 to four in the first quarter. The seventh in the starting game. Rick Barry looking to fire away early, and Barry hits his third straight outside jump shot. Well, that fight has ignited this ball club. Phoenix looks a little bit tense right now. It's going to be a tough ball game for them to play. Golden State defense, very aggressive. Very uh, Everyone double teaming. Curtis Perry with a big play. Tapped up and in. Tapped up and in by Alvin Adams. And it's now a 10 to 6 game. A very, very tense atmosphere here in the Oakland Coliseum. Rick Berry being guarded tightly by Hurd moves off to the side. Johnson drives a clean reject by Perry, but there's a whistle underneath. A foul call underneath. Watch this great change of direction by Charles Johnson. Notice how quick he gets inside, breaks inside the defense, and that's exactly what John McLeod does not want. He wants Golden State to shoot the ball from outside. He feels they're going to be in better rebound position. The penetration really breaks down your defense. Alvin Adams got his first personal foul on the play. Charles Johnson. Gives the Golden State Warriors an 11 to 6 lead. A normally very volatile crowd here at this Coliseum is kind of cautious right now. Very much tension present. You know, for Ricky Sobers as a rookie in this ball game, he might be one of the key men in this whole ball game. He's, when they played well, he, they've won in this series. And I think the thing it might hurt him a little bit. The crowd's on him. Maybe he'll pay attention to them too much. But they, Phoenix comes down and runs a good play, and Alvin Adams scores. Alvin Adams gets his second bucket the second time down the floor consecutively. Here is Rick Barry firing inside. Clifford Gray didn't have enough out, and there's a foul call. And it goes against the Suns again. Looks like Curtis Perry might have been pushing off. Here's Phil Smith. The one thing that Phil Smith has been guilty of, a little bit too much dribbling. But when he gets double teamed, there's Rick Berry, who makes that pass so well. Clifford Ray inside with the shot, and he was shoved by Curtis Perry. That's a shooter's bounce. <laughs> That's a girl, a home court advantage. Don, you're exactly right. Good things seem to happen when you play a 17 in home court. A six-point lead, as you see, for the Golden State Warriors. Charles Johnson pressing the ball, which is brought up court by the rookie quarterback of this team, Ricky Sobers. Sobers very, very quick with the ball. He draws another foul on Johnson. That's two on Johnson. Sobers at 6'3", very strong, and as you saw, exceptionally quick. The one thing that Ricky Sobers does so well, he does penetrate real well, but sometimes Ricky gets a little careless with the basketball. But as you mentioned, he's got a great size advantage on Charlie Johnson. Alvin Adams firing from way out. Not quite enough there, and again, the Warriors don't permit a second shot. Here comes Rick Berry. He is three for three since the fight. Ramming him down from way outside, and Barry can't get it on the drive. Clifford Ray picks it up. And finally, Gar Hurd takes it down. Westfall was free on the left flank all the way down the floor, but they couldn't spot him. And so the Phoenix Suns set the ball up again. Here is Sobers as the booze continue. Down low, Barry got a hand on the ball. It'll come back inbounds to Phoenix with Curtis Perry bringing it in. Rick Barry played that play very well, and if that would have been a good pass, he would have intercepted it. It was a poor pass to start with. 
Outside, Perry shooting behind a screen. And again, Clifford Ray way up and over the rim, driven down. Here comes Charles Johnson over the left flank. Jamal Wilkes is in the corner. Johnson can't get the ball to him. Barry coming around the top, fires again from the outside. This time, Barry is a little bit short. And now the outlet pass to the Phoenix Suns with a control break. Westfall surveys the field, see that nothing's open. They set it up again. We have four minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Firing way and hitting from the outside is Alvin Adams, and all of a sudden, the Phoenix Suns are back to within four. It is a 14 to 10 game. Bill Smith defended against by Ricky Sobers. Alvin Adams doubling up on the ball. Barry picks up the basketball. He's going to be called for an offensive foul. No, no, he's not. It's going to be a foul on Garfield Hurst. I'm going to question that when we look at it back. Again, Phil Smith over dribbling a little bit too much. You can see yeah, Don Hurst Hurt 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 is in pretty, pretty good to him, Don. The official's correct. 4.32 left to play in the first quarter. Now Van Arsdale comes in the game for the first time for Phoenix. Down low is Jamal Wilkes putting a high arcing shot up. Bounce volleyball after the play and another whistle from Earl Strong. Loose ball foul goes against the Warriors, Clifford Ray. No, this is Jamal Wilkes. Wilkes is guilty of shoving off. They've done a good job on the inside on Wilkes so far, and he hasn't had a good shot in this ball game. Westfall takes it up at the corner. Alvin Adams puts it up. Not enough there, but Perry gets the offensive board. Takes his time, puts it back up and in. And the Phoenix Suns are back to it in two. Giles Johnson goes down low to Rick Berry. Perry hits another outside shot, his fourth of the first quarter. He leads all scorers with eight. And the Warriors again have a four-point lead. Berry with half their points, Jerry. Rick Berry looks like he's done his shooting out on the outside, but the thing that the Warriors have to do, they have to rebound better. Phoenix has hurt him very badly with their offensive rebound. Here is Gar Hurd shooting from the outside. Gar Hurd hits it. He made the big play in game six on Friday night. After Alvin Adams scoring with 12 seconds to play, it was Hurd who blocked the last second shot of Jamal Wilkes to end the game and give Golden State its third loss in the series. Three and three. Here's Phil Smith driving, and a foul is called. We're going to lose some people early. The whistles keep blowing. Now, the big story here tonight concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. Against Russell to the free throw line. Hangs in the air. Jumper good. Oh, shot. MJ, this will be the guttiest performance maybe all time. Back, Michael. Open three. Yes. They lead it. 38 points for the King. Oh. Stuck a dagger at him with a three. Classic performance by the forward Michael Jordan. 11 and 9, 10 seconds to go. Ward with a pass tip, but handled by Johnson. Johnson is three-point territory, but guarded tightly. Johnson cuts left, now fires a three. It is good, and he's fouled! It counts, and he is fouled! Unbelievable shot! And now here is Larry Johnson, an 82% foul shooter, looking for the lead. Free throw, it's good! A four-point play by Larry Johnson! Here comes Avery Johnson. A title's at stake. Spurs are closing in. They want Duncan. Got it on the entry pass. Double team. Elliott on top. Elliott bluffs, drives, kicks. Avery Johnson with the lead. Yes. Avery Johnson drills it from the baseline, and the Spurs have regained the lead. The little guy sticks that dagger right toward your heart on every occasion. The San Antonio Spurs win their first ever NBA championship. Now the final second of play here in the Boston Garden. Boston up by two. Won't start until it's touched. They'll have to throw it up. Garhead, turn around, shot in the air. It's good. It's tied again. I believe it. I don't believe it. Garfield heard at the buzzer. We've got a third overtime in the Boston Garden. I gotta take a breather. Garfield heard. Made the basket. I want to tell you something. Somebody up there is on our side. 7.5. They're going wild in the United Center. We're tied at 82, and Chicago will have seven and a half seconds of the ball. MJ, top of the circle against Russell. Michael Higgs fires. He
The first game of the NBA championship series will be next Sunday May 23rd at 3.30 Eastern time. Today the Boston Celtics defeated Cleveland Boston Garden in a game you may have seen here on CBS. They won three games to two. And of course the winner of that series will be going on to play the winner of this seventh game today. The Golden State Warriors and the Phoenix Suns right down to the final game for one of these two teams. Right now it is a 20 to 18 game. Golden State holding to a two point lead as they come back out on the floor. There is the final score from Boston. Selleck's 99, Cleveland 94. That went right down to the final seconds. Closer than the score would indicate. Well, I think it was a lot closer. Cleveland played him very well. Of course, Boston minus John Havlicek had to be hurting somewhat, but Cleveland with some injury problems also. With Sobers out of the game, Westfall is the guy that handles the ball. Now Van Osdale has it. Alvin Adams, he can crash it from way, way out. Erickson in the game now for the Phoenix Suns. Here is Westfall shooting. And the rebound again to Clifford Ray. He's just skying up there. Whoa, a collision between two players in the same team. Barry goes down. He injured an ankle. Very slow getting up. Rick Barry's walking it off. He collided with one of his own players. And now Rick Barry's going to have to walk it off as the trainer, Dick D'Olivo, comes out to attend to him. But Rick's had a tough first quarter. He's been putting up a lot of points. But he's been getting knocked around. Well, here's one of those injuries. Don, that you just don't want to come out of the basketball game. Many right. times when you're warmed up, you go sit down, and it will stiffen up. But he probably just slightly rolled over on his ankle. He'll be okay, I'm sure. Yeah, they leave him right in. You go to sit down with that, it swells up. And very he, sore, very quickly. You know, Jerry, a lot of people feel that really the key players in this series, while Rick Barry is the big guy for Golden State, Westfall has been so important scoring for Phoenix. Jamal Wilkes comes inside to get it. The games that Clifford Ray has played exceptionally well in, uh, Golden State has won. The games that Ricky Sobers has played exceptionally well in, Phoenix has won. They've been very important. Don, no question, those two players don't get a lot of mention, but they are very important players. Now Barry steals the ball. Warriors with a four-point lead and coming down on the run. Barry fires to Johnson. And now Johnson shoots before the defense can get over to attend to him. Don, it's very important that Phoenix runs some time off the clock. They just don't want, do not want to get caught up in a running game to get this ball caught. They've got to run their offense and don't turn the ball over against this team. Van Arsdale takes it down low, and Dick Van Arsdale puts up the arcing jump shot, and Barry clears the rebound. Outlet pass to Smith. Warriors starting to run the ball. Clifford Ray hands off quickly to Johnson. He takes it down low, and Johnson hits another one. He has come on now. He has scored 10 points in the first quarter, Charles Johnson. Phoenix has made some substitution. Keith Erickson's had a hot hand so far for the Suns. I'm sure they'll look to go to him. Charles Johnson has called for the foul. The Warrior fans protesting that it was a charge on Westfall, but Johnson gets his third personal foul. You decide. Well, again, here's one of those plays. very tough. Paul Westfall goes up and shoots his jump shot. It looked like to me that he's in good position, and the officials made a good call. Now Johnson goes out with three personal fouls and ten points. There is Westfall. You see what he's done so far in the playoffs. 21-3. Big series against Seattle. He's a little lower than that against the Golden State Warriors. One minute to go in the first quarter. Paul Westfall, as you, as you mentioned, Don, has been a model of consistency for the Suns this year. He's done everything they've asked him to do. They've made the playoff, and so they have to be happy with the trade they made with Boston. Golden State Warriors over the limit, so Westfall, after hitting the first, misses the second, he gets the third chance to make two. A shooting foul with one minute to go in the first quarter. They didn't put the first free throw up. Still 18 points on the board here for Phoenix. Guy Hurd comes down to the baseline of the court and throws up an arcing jump shot. One thing that Rick Berry is going to have to be very careful of the defense. He's, he really dies with the ball a lot. Many times he loses his man in the course of action. Some of the Phoenix players have had good luck against him. Berry has called for a personal foul, lost the ball to Hurd, and then grabbed at him. And so they come back down to the other end with 37 seconds left to go. Don, that last play again was indicative of what has happened to this Warrior ball club in this playoff. A lot of one on one dribbling there. And I think that uh, what they're going to have to do, they're going to have to move the ball a little bit more with the pass and still so much with the dribble. Here's Phil Lumpkin coming in the game now for Phoenix, and Dennis Autry comes in replacing Alvin Adams. 
So far, Adams has scored six points. Westfall has Scar Hurd has four. Hurd's going to be in the bonus situation. Backward fouls. So they have three chances to make two. Garfield Hurd has been a tremendous addition to this Phoenix ball club. He has. Their season turned around after Gar Hurd came. The day before the All-Star break, they got their game going. And there, so importantly, the extra chance brings them back to it in four. 26 to 22. Charles Dudley has the ball. Lumpkin against him. Quickness on quickness. Here is Jamal Wilkes with Erickson moving out to pick him up. Doubling up is Phil Lumpkin and Jamal Wilkes arcs it up. Ripping it down as Curtis Garfield Hurd looks for the outlet. Goes to Lumpkin. Six foot guard out of Miami of Ohio. John McLeod gets out. Shouts out instructions. Calls the play. 14 seconds to go in the first quarter. Phoenix has a mismatch inside. If they can take advantage of it, they might have a good height advantage. Ball will come back inbounds with six seconds to go in the quarter, as you see. Dudley knocked the ball away from Van Arsdale. Dudley the last to touch it before it went out of bounds. Golden State is led by as many as eight. Here is Keith Erickson shooting on Van Arsdale. Gets it up before the buzzer rims the hoop. It doesn't go. And so the first quarter ends with the Golden State Warriors leading 26 to 22. They were led in the first quarter by Charles Johnson, who had 10 points, and Rick Barry, who scored eight. Five seconds, scores with two. Forces McHale to have to switch out onto Magic Johnson, and he puts that quick dribble on McHale and gets into the defense, and there's that real, real junior skyhook working. Little stutter step confuses McHale. I mean, that's what a great ball handler and dribbler can do. To and look at that outstretched hook shot. Just worked beautiful. Second half, Boston only has a one-point lead. Greer's putting the ball on play. He gets it out deep and have a check Alone, stripped by Michael, stolen by MJ. 17 seconds from game seven, or from championship number six. Michael against Russell, 12 seconds. 11, 10, Jordan a drive, hangs, fires, he scores! He scores! The Bulls lead 87-86 with five and two tenths left. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. To the NBA's greatest game. It has been a back and forth first quarter as the Golden State Warriors lead by four, 26 to 22. Heading into the second 12 minutes of his seventh and deciding game of the Western Finals. Cliff Ray has seven rebounds. Gar Hurd has five for Phoenix. This is Don Cricky with Jerry West at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum. Van Arsdale bringing the ball up court now. 6'5", 11-year veteran out of Indiana against second-year player Phil Smith. Rutrick E. Silver back in the game. Autry down low against George Johnson is in the play center for the Golden State Warriors. Autry is free. Ball slapped away by Dickey. Van Arsdale picks it up. He likes that baseline. He's tough off of there. Now, Erickson fires up, and Barry takes down the defensive board. Gary? But on the one thing that you can see in this ball game, both teams are trying to go with their strength. Phoenix winning a lot of time down the clock with only five seconds. Golden State trying to get the ball down quickly. Good example, Rick Berry's last shot. Dennis Arthur not looking to shoot the ball. A lot of perimeter offense by Phoenix. They're not getting inside. They run a lot of their plays in the lane. They feel it's very important if they get some open room. And now Sober throws the ball away. Autry was coming out. And Sobers was going along. He was looking for him to go low. Don, he has to be a little bit nervous. A rookie in this ball game, a seventh and crucial ball game against the world champion Warriors. The people are on his back. It'd be nice to see him settle down, play a good ball game for him. He played a big game on Friday night. In the evening game, the sixth game, here is Barry going too much on it. The ball is tipped out to Sobers. One on one. Dudley's with him now. Phil Smith doubles up. Van Arsdale takes the lead pass. He goes hard to the basket. Basket is disallowed. The foul is called on Van Arsdale. Dick Bart, Van Arsdale, one of the toughest drivers in basketball, looking, weave his way along the baseline, 
And that was pretty good position by George Johnson. That's a tough call for an official to make. Okay, these officials are right on top of it. A very difficult call. 26 to 22, the count holds. Golden State by four. In and out. Dickey comes over the top. Gar Hurd blocked another one, but he kept it out to Phil Smith, who gets the bucket. They make it 30 to 22. Or 28 to 22, a six point advantage for the Golden State Warriors. Erickson goes to Autry. Johnson swings the ball, can't get it. Erickson goes down low, now comes out as Autry sets the pick. Back inside him, the give and go to Autry. They lose the ball. Up court to Barry. Rick Barry ahead of the pack, lays the ball in. Barry now with 10 points. John the foul's going to call a timeout. He does not like what he's seeing out here. Golden State getting their momentum going, they're running. Here is the play again. They get the ball up court to Barry ahead of the field. He calmly lays it in off glass. Gary, this is a very critical point in the game for the Phoenix Suns. Well, I think it really is, Don, because they're eight points behind. they got to be a little bit nervous. They've played magnificent basketball, but the thing they don't want to do now is to try to get them back real quick. They've got to hang in there, run their offense real well, and do it that way. Ricky Sobers holding the ball, looking to go inside on Dudley. Dudley taps the ball away. He's all over Sobers. Sobers tries to bang it off his leg and throws the ball away to Phil Smith. Tapped up by George Johnson. A fight for the ball. What have we got inside? Going to be a whistle. Don, this is what I'm talking about. What's this Golden State defense? Charles Dudley, a man who just works and works and works, causes a turnover. Bill Smith goes down, does not take a good shot. But there's a man chipping up once, trying to get his Derek Dickey. And this is the thing you can't do against this Warrior Ball Club. You've got to play your own game. Bill Smith tries to move it on Van Arsdale. Here's a foul call on Gar Hurd. Gar Hurd grabbed Bill Smith by the wrist trying to get the basketball. Here's Bill Smith dribbling a little bit too much. As you can see, Hurd reaches in and grabs him over the arm. The Suns are coming back in with Alvin Adams now to try to give him some real good play inside and maybe some good outside shooting. Golden State is built up another eight-point lead in the absence of Alvin Adams. Here is Phil Smith looking to drive on Van Azel. Van Azel some off the with a Smith. Great shooter that he is. Spins off and hits the line drive jump shot. And the biggest lead of the game now for the Warriors, 10 points. That's what the foul position looks like. Charles Johnson on the bench with 10 points and three personals. Gar Hurd hits it, a basket that the Phoenix Suns needed so very much as he hits it from the corner. Nine minutes to go in the first half. It is a 32 to 24 game Golden State with the ball in the lead. Dudley to the outside goes to Phil Smith. Erickson on him. Smith pulls up. Basket would have gone had it gone through, but there is a shooting foul on the play. And Phil Smith goes to the line as Al Adel shakes his head approvingly. Well, what they did on that particular play, Phil Smith rubbed his man off. Dick Van Arsdale had a smaller man inside, and Phoenix trying to help out in there. When you do that, you're going to get burned. And Bill Smith makes a good move from the outside, and he was fouled by Keith Erickson. Erickson getting his second personal foul. Phil Smith missing the first free throw. Phil Smith so far has hit for eight points. Substitutions coming in. Curtis Perry comes back in the game now for the Phoenix Suns. In the game for the Suns, Van Arsdale, Perry, Westfall, Adams, and Hurd. Ah, the offensive board goes to the Warriors. Now, Alvin Adams takes it down. George Johnson couldn't get the big sweeping hook. George Johnson shouldn't have taken that shot. He should have brought the ball back out because they were in very poor offensive position. Maybe they would have gotten a much better shot. Curtis Perry looks to the inside, goes out high to guard her. Here comes Van Hotel out. Good motion now on the Phoenix offense. Great defensive position by the Warriors. Put up, basket goes, and there's a foul on the play as Curtis Perry takes the step, faints, drives into the lane, and puts it up. 52! Well, here's, one those, here's one of those situations again where a man tries to steal a basketball. Rick Berry trying to make a steal on the inside here. Look at him go for the steal. It's a little fake. Breaks the defense down. He's fouled by George Johnson. It is now a 32-27 game, a five-point lead for the Golden State Warriors. They led by 10 not that long ago, and here is another whistle inside. Call for his second personal foul. 8.22 to go in the first half. Bill Smith is getting tough now in the second quarter. Here's the ball to Dudley. Here is Derek Dickey. Down low to Johnson. Back to Dickey. Pulling up for the shot. Rims the hoop. Adams comes in to take it. Alvin Adams with that 
impassive look on his face but such a smooth seasoned player despite this being his rookie season the NBA rookie of the year Gar Hurd looks for Adams cutting but he is defended again here is Perry to Van Arsdale Dudley playing very tight in Van Arsdale Adams almost lost the ball tapped it over to Westfall and Paul Westfall puts it up off glass and the basket goes Dudley went down hard no call on the play. The basket goes now across to Vic Berry. And Berry puts it in and out hits the back of the iron. Adams leads the break up court to Westfall. Three on three. Curtis Perry to Van Arsdale. Takes his time. Not enough there. And the rebound is down to George Johnson. It's a three-point game. The Warriors throw the ball away. And it's back over to the Phoenix Suns. Jerry West. The Warriors are playing sloppy basketball, but you've got to give an awful lot of credit to the Phoenix Ball Club. Coach John McLeod over there, he's, got, he's up all the time. He's telling his players, run some time off the clock. And they run some time. They've got some good shots. And they're right back in this ball game again. Just when they were in danger of being blown out, down by 10, the Phoenix Suns have now rallied back to it in three. And there's a foul, a whistle inside. I got 15. He blocks out. Bring him 15 in. 15 blocks out. That's the call. And so Dudley gets the personal foul, his first, as John McLeod calls the play. The 24 second clock is restarted. You have to be very impressed with this Phoenix ball club. John McLeod moves people around because he's got a good bench over there, but he's not afraid to use anyone and paid off throughout the season for him. Westfall can't get the jump shot putting up an out hit from the Warriors on the run is Bill Smith, the 6'4 guard of the University of San Francisco. Jump passes to Derek Dickey. The ball wouldn't have gotten there, but it goes on the way down, so it is up. It is defensive goaltending. The basket counts. Dickey gets the point. Well, here's the play. I think a player just has to be real careful. That ball was very short. Curtis Perry jumps up right in front of it, snags out of the basket, tossy team two points. Phoenix had scored seven straight points prior to that goal test. 34 29. The Warriors are up by five. And Ozdale cuts Adams, who had more assists than any center in the NBA, hits him with a pass, but there is no shot up. And Gar Hurd fires. Oh! There was no time left on the clock when he shot that ball down. So the Phoenix Suns again come back to within three. It is a 34 to 31 game. 6.20 to go. Cliff Ray tips the ball out to Dickey, pulls up for a shot, rims the hoop, and Adams, who can really sky, gets it up for it almost through the lead. Lead to Van Arsdale. He loses the ball, and it's off Rick Barry, who is failing the play. Too much on the lead pass. Van Arsdale couldn't handle it, but went off one of the Golden State players, Rick Barry. And now we're going to have a timeout. A uh, timeout as the seventh in the deciding game now shows 6.09 to play in the first half. And the Warriors holding to a three point lead. Dunk into the line. It's still not over. 5.1 to play. They get the second. No. David tapped it out, but Marbury's got it. Now the Suns to win. Marbury on the drive. Hands it. Celtics 113 to 111. Well, they're going to try and make a steal here, and they got their best defensive team in there right now. And the Lakers, keep in mind, do not have to take a shot. And it goes quickly in now to Magic. Back over to Worthy, and it's picked off. Goes to Hammond, and he lays it off and out. It's all tied up. A great play by Hammond. For a minute there, I could hear Johnny Bruce going, Innocent steal the ball. With Jerry West, this is Don Crickey at courtside Oakland Alameda County Stadium. Game seven of the Western Finals, the NBA Championship Series. Jerry, you've been in this situation so many times in your 14 years in the NBA. 
And you've got to note the tension here. It's caused a lot of mistakes. It really has, Don. These teams both are not playing real well. I think Phoenix has really stuck to their offense a lot better than, than the Golden State Warriors have. The Warriors look more nervous than Phoenix. Van Arsdale gets inside. He is called for a travel. Nick Van Arsdale protesting that he was hacked at, but Earl Strom looks away and now will give the ball inbound to the Golden State Warriors. Phil Smith and Charles Dudley are working in the back line. We have six minutes to go in the first half. Dudley out of the University of Washington. He was cut by the Warriors back in 1972. They got another chance and made the team. Phil Smith missed it all. Perry looks for the outlet. Goes to Westfall. Well, the Golden State Warriors are just playing one-on-one one -on -one basketball much too much, and they're taking an awful lot of bad shots. All of them are guilty. It's not just one person. Van Osdale cut off by Phil Smith. Back outside to Alvin Adams. Westfall driving, and we're going to have a whistle. Blocking foul against the Sun. Alvin Adams is the man who picked up that personal foul. The Suns are certainly getting chances now by the Warriors to get right back in this game. They're only down by three, but Phoenix cannot capitalize when Golden State has gone into a cold streak. Don, it shows you really how tough the defense on both teams' part is being played. They only 34 points for the Warriors and 31 for the Suns here in the second period. When the, we only have five minutes left to go. 5.25 left to go in the first half. That's right, 34-31, that many points up. Now Alvin Adams looks for men cutting, coming out high. He tried to throw it down to Van Arsdale, and Dudley stole the ball, but he bounced it on the end line of the court. No, he actually double dribbled the ball. Picked it up, looked like he wanted to pass it right away, Don, but they called double dribble on him. So it turns back to the Phoenix Sun. Puts it up. Curtis Perry gets the roll. Adams are fighting their way to get the ball inside the lane. That time they did it. Van Arsdale staying right with Phil Smith, presenting the drive. Van Arsdale dancing with Smith and Smith again when he can't get by on the drive. Spins off, hits the turnaround jump shot. He has scored 10 points for Golden State. Plays like that are very good for the Warriors, but they're going to have to get some movement with the basketball. You just can't beat a defense that's set all the time. Curtis Perry gets in the lane. Not enough there. Rebound is taken down by Jamal Wilkes. Up court to Smith. He is really taking charge now. Phil Smith for the Golden State Warriors. They lead by three. Have led by as many as ten. Down low they go to Derek Dickey. Perry against him. Dickey fades away. And Alvin Adams in position. Blocking out Clifford Ray. Takes down the defensive board. Gets the ball up to Erickson. The veteran out of UCLA. And who can ever forget his spectacular show just one week ago. But he brought back the Golden State of the Phoenix Suns in game four to even the series in double overtime. Perry forces a shot, tapped up, the basket will go, and there's a foul in play. The Phoenix Suns can tie the game. It looked like Big Cliff Ray might have pushed it. Paul Westfall tapped that ball in. It shows you the great jumping ability of Paul Westfall, but Don, what we've been talking about, Golden State is really very guilty of not blocking out inside. They should have some people in on the inside of the, the Phoenix ball club. Rick Barry comes back into the game. He scored 10 points. If you joined us late, Barry and Ricky Sobers of the Phoenix Suns were in an all-out swing out in the early moments of this game. Neither player was ejected. Westfall doesn't get the free throw. Paul uh, Westfall having a little trouble with the free throw line. And it's a one-point game at Golden State. Sobers is on the bench now. Al Adels is up and shouting out. Here's Phil Smith down low. Puts it up. Rebound to Alvin Adams. Phoenix is not getting the ball up for it as quickly as Golden State do not want to. They want to set up an offense. They're only going to take the good shot. And John McLeod said they might slow it down even more than they normally would. Alvin Adams fires up a kind of a desperation shot out of range. And the Warriors come back down leading by one. We have 340 to play in the first half. This is Charles Dudley looking to dance inside. Adams goes into the lane to blockade the middle. Barry playing on the outside. Over to Phil Smith, fading away. Another nice shot, but this one won't go, and Curtis Perry takes it down. Jerry. Don, the Golden State Warriors offense right now really consists of Phil Smith getting the ball and shooting it. They're not really getting into the normal flow of their offense. They need a lot more people handling the ball. Oh, oh, oh. All right. John McLeod, very unhappy. Somebody looked like they threw a ball when something across the floor. I don't want to lose my eye because of some crazy idiot. All right, all right. Here, John McLeod doesn't want to lose his eye. He's Pick it up. Somebody threw something down on the golf ball, hit the bench. Uh, they certainly don't need that in a ball game like this. I and mean, that's not going to help anyone win a basketball game. 
I just really cannot understand how fans throw things at a basketball. Erickson game. down low, and he follows it up. Keith Erickson getting the great position, the assist down the middle, and the Phoenix Suns have rallied back to take the lead. 37 to 36. And now another foul call inside. A lot of contact down low. This one looks to be Curtis Perry who draws the foul. He has three. Again, Curtis Perry, Rick Berry was in working, trying to work his way on the inside, away from the ball, and Curtis Perry had his arms around him. Berry going to go to the free throw line. They're in a bonus situation now. Charles Johnson back in the game, scored 10 points in the first quarter, but picked up three personal fouls. Had difficulty staying with Ricky Sobers. As Johnson comes back in, McLeod, the Phoenix coach, quickly counters and sends Sobers back in the game. Here is Berry at the free throw line, has scored 11 points at eight in the first quarter. Rick Berry, the best percentage free throw shooter in the NBA. Now gives the Warriors back the lead, 38 to 37. A one-point advantage. Golden State was up here in the second quarter by as many as 10. Westfall comes out as a high post man. Goes to Erickson, dancing inside, feeds up to Alvin Adams. In and out, and rebound down to Jamal Wilson. He leads the break. Leads to Barry. Rick Barry loses the ball, and he was fouled on the play by Westfall. Third foul on Paul Westfall. You can see the Warriors want to run. Westfall just simply reaches in, hops him across the arm. But they're going to bring Dick Van Arsdale back in for Paul Westfall. But before the the NBA, where caring happens. A young man by the name of Magic Johnson is going to start at center. Magic will come down the baseline, and Dawkins tied him up, scored, and sent Magic to the line. Here comes the 20-year-old rookie down the middle. Dawkins went to him and scored, and sent him to the line. The most valuable player is Magic Johnson. 42 points, 15 rebounds, and 7 assists. He starts at center, plays forward and guard, and leads the Los Angeles Lakers to a world championship without Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Bird now cuts free. Kobe Bryant on the move against Christie. In for the right, flips the shot up, no good. O'Neal lays it up, hits it. Ball tipped oh. out to Ori, a straight on three. Good! The Lakers have won! Robert Ori's greatest hits tour continues. Oh, no doubt about it. He's got to be getting a Grammy for that one. Sixers and they get inside. And unbelievable. Julius Serving put a dreaming underneath. He was trapped. And he still got the field goal. And West gets up. Well, that's quite everything after that. Watch this fantastic move by the doctor. Going to the first line, right side. Curious in the air, prominent of the right hand. Floating, reaching, and spinning it in. Hey, pedal. What a play. I'm Chris Paul of the New Orleans Hornets. NBA, where caring happens. Welcome back to the NBA's greatest game. This crowd, one of the most volatile in the NBA, one of the most enthusiastic. They're very tense like their ball club. They're not only very tense, but they're very, very concerned about what they're seeing out here. As you see, Golden State and Phoenix are hooked up in a great ball game. But I think right now is another critical part of this ball game for the Suns, Don. They can go in at halftime with a close ball game or even with a small lead, but they have to feel very good coming into the second half. They don't want to fall behind by eight or ten points at halftime. And uh, again, Golden State in the penalty situation now. And it's a dangerous time ball game for the Suns. If the form chart holds up, we're going to see a very close game down to the final seconds. Every one of these games has been close throughout the first two quarters has been close right to the end, particularly in the first quarter. The games that uh, Golden State has won big, they've ripped it right open early. They've taken command early. Now, it is a 40 to 37 game, another three point lead for the Golden State Warriors. Sobers against Charles Johnson. Holding the ball, very tight defense by the Warriors. They're playing that moving, switching, tough defense. It's their hallmark. Erickson looks for an opening, drives into the lane, fires to Van Osdale. 
No travel. Van Arsdale fading back, and Dick Van Arsdale moving away gets it. And that's a one-point game again. It is 40 to 39. Van Arsdale with his first points of the game. You have to like this Phoenix Suns ball club, Don. They are not giving the Golden State Warriors anything. Great defensive position by Van Arsdale. Almost forced to seal. Barry fires. Can't get there. Sobers at 6-3. Loses the ball to Jamal Wilkes. And he gets the roll. Jamal Wilkes with that heady basketball. Takes the ball back. Goes up and gets the points. It's now 42-39. A chorus of booze for Ricky Sobers every time he handles the ball after that fight with Barry early in the game. Alvin Adams with the ball. Looks down low to Van Arsdale. Ball knocked away. Garfield Hurd takes it. Taps out to Dick Van Arsdale. And there's a foul call. He gets Golden State. Don, there's a great Phoenix Sun offensive rebounding. They're killing Golden State inside when Golden State doesn't block them off. And to be very frank, they've had a much better shot selection than the Warriors have in this ballgame so far. Charles Johnson, who scored so well in the first quarter, 10 points, now goes to the bench with his fourth personal foul. Here's another foul on the Golden State Warriors. This one's on Jamal Wilkes. I don't think he ever gets in foul trouble. He's got two now. But Jamal does not get dumb fouls. He's a very intelligent basketball player and a quality person. That's what this Golden State Warrior ball club has consisted of. That's what you win with, right in your screen, right there. And also some of these guys in those, I don't know what color uniforms the Suns are. I guess they're purple. Very, very outstanding men besides being good basketball players. Here is Keith Erickson, a man that the, everybody couldn't believe the great performance he had. He gets the second free throw. It's not a tip in by Adams. He was just following the playoff in case it did come out. It's 42 to 40. Golden State by two points. Bill Smith with the ball now for the Warriors. Van Arsdale against him. Looking at the ball down low to Dudley against Bill Lumpkin. And little Charles Dudley gets up and over. He's got a two inch head advantage. And again, the Warriors go in front now by four points. 124 to go in the first half. Jerry West. Well, Don Phoenix has done a very, very good job so far in this basketball game. They moved the ball around real well. They're taking pretty good care of it, but this one of those turnovers they don't need. Big play by the Golden State Warriors. They get the run and get the lead break. And the payoff end is Phil Smith, who's now scored 12. John McLeod again out calling the play. 46 to 40. Golden State, after leading by 10, lost the lead. Now they've gone back up by the six-point margin. Here is a shot by Elvin Adams from the outside. Elvin Adams has now scored eight points. Gar Hurd has 10. Perry has seven. Westfall has 10. And up to Jamal Wilkes. 46 to 42. We have 37 seconds left to go in the first half. Jamal Wilkes. All-American of the UCLA fades and arcs it high for the bucket. One tough ball game. This guy is usually comes up with a big effort. Today, he's suddenly come alive. They haven't looked to get him the ball, and I'm sure in the second half, Al Adams is going to make this team much more team conscious. Lumpkin dribbling the ball, and Dudley harassing him, looking to take it away. Now, he throws up a shot he never should have taken, and the Warriors get the ball and come down on the run. Jamal Wilkes pulls up. Not quite enough there, but Barry gets the offensive board, puts it back up, and the first half comes to an end as Keith Erickson couldn't get the ball back to get the shot off in time and so the first half comes to an end with the score as you see the Golden State Warriors 48 the Phoenix Suns 42 we ain't losing series in a year and a half man we ain't gonna start tonight yo we ain't starting tonight the Houston Let Rockets it. a three-point lead. It's over. The Houston Rockets have won game seven. The Rockets have knocked off the Phoenix Suns coming from behind. Three games to one to eliminate the Suns. And this series has come to this. It would be excruciating and devastating to the team that loses this game. The Rockets need a field goal desperately here. 48 seconds left. The Rockets down by two. It has come down to this. Elijah Watts spins it side on Ewing. Kicks it out back to Gasol. Court underneath the basket. I couldn't tell what happened. And this is a tough one. Holding his right ankle, Billy. Eight-point lead for the Lakers. Thomas with a looper scores. 
two on one. Thomas goes up. And Isaiah Thomas having an incredible period. And the thing about Isaiah Thomas, he's limping on every play. Can you imagine the great performance? Maybe one of the best we've ever seen in one quarter in NBA Finals history. It's Minneapolis ball. Schaefer passes to Mike in the pivot, and the big center dribbles in and scores. There's a pass to Schaefer, and George Mikan hits with a tap-in as Schaefer misses the mark. On a pass from Pollard, Mikan faints Nichols out of position and lets it go. It's no good. Mikan recovers, and he scores as the Lakers go on to take the series 4-2 to two to become the champions. The crowds have really become a sixth man in basketball around this league. Just tremendous enthusiasm. The Phoenix crowds, unbelievable. Cleveland, and here at Golden State. The sold-out arena, 13,000-plus up in cheering. Their Golden State Warriors at the second half the end. And Sobers again opens to a chorus of boos ever since the fight was there, every time he handles the ball. He's not the most popular man up in this Bay Golden State area right now. Westfall looking for the open man. He arcs up a jump shot. Rebound is taken down by Charles Johnson. There he's on the left flank, Phil Smith on the left. And here is Smith dropping it off to Jamal Wilkes. And Wilkes rims the hoop, and Alvin Adams takes down the rebound. Sobers wheels around Rick Berry. Westfall looks down low. Perry was all by himself. Sobers tries to throw the ball, and Phil Smith intercepts. Smith takes it all away. What a brilliant play. Boy, that shows you his great jumping ability and the great body control that he has. And again, it's an eight-point lead. For the Golden State Warriors, they led by as many as 10 in the second quarter. The Phoenix Suns then came back to take a one-point lead. There it is, Perry looking down low. Ricky Sobers firing, and Sobers builds the long jump shot. Ricky Sobers getting his third and fourth point. Like a big basket for this Phoenix ball club. They come out and turn the ball over. Golden State had two opportunities to capitalize on one of them, but Phoenix is just not going to give up. They're going to work this whole ball game. Alvin Adams on one motion gets the ball out to Sobers for the outlet. Up court to Gar Hurd. Ricky Sobers moving back to the outside. Charles Johnson's on him, but cautiously, you recall, Johnson picked up four personal fouls in the first half. Sky King goes up and gets it off glass. Curtis Perry. Well, this Alvin Adams has to be beside himself while he's seeing happen this Golden State ball club. They're just simply getting better position on the inside, and the ball club is going to have to walk out better. This will make it a two-point game. Look at Westfall. The basket goes. He was fouled on the play. Bill Smith went up to challenge him. And Westfall, who just loves to stunt, loves to jam the ball. Watch this. Here's a beautiful play. Watch this play. Paul Westfall shows a great jumping ability, dunks it with the opposite <laughs> hand, and Phil Smith goes flying. <laughs> great play. Here is Westfall at the free throw line. He can bring the Suns back to within one. You can't knock this club out of the game, and he does. Westfall has now scored 13 points. Certainly those the most dramatic of this game for Westfall. It is 50 to 49 as Phil Smith looks to penetrate down the baseline of the court. Lost the basketball over to the Phoenix Sun. Jerry West, you've seen a lot of games in the Phoenix Golden State Warriors. Great team that they are. have lost their composure different times in this game. I think the reason they've lost their composure, Don, they look tighter in the Phoenix ball club, and they're doing the one cardinal sin. You just don't dribble the basketball against a good ball club. They're dribbling too much. That's why they're losing the ball. Now they get it back on a steal by Cliff Ray. Actually, that altercation between Barry and Sobers early in the game was a good thing because they settled down now. The play's gotten very clean, although it's very aggressive. Phil Smith off the baseline. And Phil Smith has now hit 16 points. A three-point game for the Golden State Warriors, 52 to 49. Garfield Hurd looks inside, goes out to the high post. Curtis Perry moving off the inside, down low to Westfall. Look at that shot. Paul oh, Westfall is knocked down on the play. 
Well, as he went by Cliff Ray, the basket goes at the one-point game. Jerry West. Don, I'm amazed that they're getting inside too easily against this Golden State defense. Golden State trying to double-team the ball, and they're not jamming up the middle like they would like to. Curtis Perry takes down the rebound, gets the ball. The West ball and Silvers will set it up. Phoenix playing cautiously now, trailing by just one point, down by eight not that long ago. Alvin Adams looks around. The ball is tipped over to Gar Hurd. He pulls up for the jump shot. Back up, in and out. Tapped up, and a foul on the play. Curtis Perry with a loose ball foul, and the Warriors get back the ball, and that's the fourth on Curtis Perry. The thing that the Warriors have done very poorly again, very evident on that last play. Phoenix has three shots at the basket. Finally, they get committed for a shoving foul underneath, but you can't give a team that many chances. Jamal Wilkes goes to the basket. Another foul on Perry. That's five. This guy's a very underrated and fine basketball player. He's strong, but now he's in trouble. Five personal fouls, and Erickson's coming in the game. The great thing about the Phoenix Ball Club, when they go to events, they can get something over there. Keith Erickson, of course, is not the rebounder that Curtis Perry is, but he certainly, is, as he's proven on our telecast, a very outstanding shooter. Jamal Wilk hits the free throw. There is Keith Erickson, the man who brought a big thank you so very much in the entire city of Phoenix. Thank you, Keith Erickson, for that job he did for Phoenix in game four. Now the Golden State Warriors have a two-point lead, 53 to 51. Low to Alvin Adams ahead of the pack. He is fouled by Rick Barry. Good Barry. foul by Rick Barry. Very good foul. It was a sure basket. That's only two on Barry. Again, Clifford Ray on the inside here. You can see he's overplaying. He goes for the steal. Alvin Adams. Keith Wilkes is hurt. Keith Wilkes is. A finger pulled out. Apparently, a finger's out of joint. He's in a lot of pain. They're working on it, trying to get it back in. And they're hustling him very quickly into the freeze, into the locker room. Keith Wilkes going out. So this will be a very difficult turn of events for the Warriors if he cannot return. In all probability, will it was his right hand, however. Jamal Wilkes is right back in the game. There he is. They took him out to the locker room. They got the finger back in place. They taped it up. It's the index finger of his right hand. And he's not going to miss a moment. Saying something, that tells you how important this ball game is. He dislocated his finger. The doctor put him back into place. And he's going to be in there. You see, we have some foul trouble by some of these people out here today. Curtis Perry out of the ball game for the Suns. They're going to miss him, particularly rebounding. Charlie Johnson with four. The other players are not in bad shape. Alvin Adams hits the first free throw. He will get a second. And Alvin Adams ties the basketball game at 53. This is the second and deciding game of the NBA Western Final. Charles Johnson brings the ball up court. West follows against him. Here is a pass out to Barry. Looking over his head to loop it down low. He gets the ball into Jamal Wilkes. We'll see if he's hesitant to shoot. Doubling up on the ball to get out to Barry and back over to Charles Johnson. Johnson fires. Sobers rebounds. And the ball is brought up rather slowly now as they set the pace the Phoenix Suns with an opportunity to take the lead if they can hit a bucket here. Well they have to be very happy with their position at this point. Phoenix has played very well. Golden State's been a little ragged with their play. Well they threw it away and Jamal Wilkes is the man who intercepts for Golden State. He leads the break and now Alex to shut it off as the Suns retreat nicely from offense to defense. Driving shot by Charles Johnson gets his own rebound. Standing play by Johnson, and he gets the ball over to Phil Smith. And the Golden State Warriors take a two-point lead. Don, that's the thing that wins basketball games. Tremendous effort by Charlie Johnson. The first half of this ball game, bothered by fouls that scored 10 important points for the Warriors. Here's Guy Hurd. Down into the corner, he gets the ball to Sobers. Back to Erickson, out to Sobers. Ricky Sobers drills it. And Sobers has now scored six points in the game. Is again tied 55 to 55. Well, a good movement of the basketball by the Warriors and the Suns on the last two exchanges down the floor, Don. Here is Jamal Wilkes taking the ball down low against Whoa. Erickson. Jamal Wilkes, high arcing jump shot, didn't miss a thing despite the finger injury. And again, the Warriors take a two-point lead as Wilkes has scored nine. 
Don, I think you're going to see Keith Wilkes down, I mean, Jamal Wilkes, pardon me, down deep a lot because he's got a size advantage on Erickson. They're going to try to take advantage of it. Ball is kicked. Elvin Adams lost the basketball. It turns back over to the Warriors. Al Adams gets up. Paces slowly in front of the bench. And he calls out the play now. Bill Smith brings it down. Gets his cue from the coach and yells down. A four play. Smith goes down low. Wilkes goes down low. Barry comes out high and Ray sets the screen. Barry comes off it. They have a mismatch down again with Wilkes underneath. Charles Johnson is rejected beautifully. Up court pass to Ricky Sobers. Moving in on Rick Barry. Sobers gets it off his hip and Rick Barry turns his head away disgustedly. You know, if Ricky Sobers had not lost control of that ball, Rick Barry would have blocked the shot. Jamal Wilkes right back down the other way to break the tie. 59 to 57, and now the Phoenix Suns want a timeout with 5.56 left to go in the third quarter. The leading scorer in the game is Golden State's backcourt star Phil Smith, has scored 18. Barry has 14. Wilkes has 11. Westfall with 15 for the Suns. Ricky Sobers with a hip shot. Senor West. This really shows you what a great pair of legs and also what a <laughs> fine pair of hands he's got. Notice him pull the ball completely from behind him. Sensational play. Got a moment here. I'd like to say hello to Franklin Miuli, our friend who's the president of the Golden State Warriors, who might not be here today, although it's hard for me to believe, but he's not feeling well. He's got a little touch of pneumonia, they think. And I'll tell you, if Franklin's not here, you can be sure he's very sick. You're absolutely correct, Don. We'd also like to remind you that game one of the NBA championship series will be next Sunday, May 23rd at 3.30 Eastern time. The Boston Cleveland winner against the Golden State Phoenix winner. We'll have a winner in that series, this series here today. This is the seventh game of the Western Finals. Earlier today, Boston beat Cleveland by five. They lost three games to two. Here is Ricky Silver. 
59-57 game. Golden State is in the lead by two points. Silver's looking for an open man. No motion at all in the Phoenix offense. Now Erickson comes out and gets the ball. John, the one thing, as you can see, the Warriors defense are picking them out a lot higher now. Should give Phoenix a little bit more room to operate on the inside. Alvin Adams had to throw up that shot because it's 24 second clock had almost elapsed. It would have had he not thrown the ball up. Jamal Welch fires. Rebound down to Silvers, looking to run a controlled break. And Silvers brings it up. Erickson is picked up quickly by Barry. Here is Gar Hurd. Westfall fires. He's been tough, and Westfall's tough again. Fourth year player out of Southern California. Ties the game at 59, and Westfall has now scored 17 points for the Phoenix Suns. Don, the one, another thing the Warriors are not doing on defense, they're not showing themselves. The shooters are just coming off taking wide open shots. You've got to put a little pressure on them. It's much too easy. Jamal Wilkes turns, missed it all. Ball is saved beautifully by Alvin Adams. Up court to Erickson. One on three, he'll slow it up. Down low, it's tapped away. Jamal Wilkes made that play. Up court to Phil Smith. Down the corner to Jamal Wilkes, pulling up, pulling up. Now the ball is tapped away, and here's a foot race. Westfall behind the back to Silvers, and Ricky Silvers gets it off left. Brilliant basketball, Paul Westfall. Paul Westfall made a sensational defensive play, but again, the Warriors were not looking for the open man. The Phoenix Suns have taken the lead 61 to 59, with four minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Clifford Ray puts his head down, heads to the basket, loses the ball, but it'll come in bounds to Warriors. Watch this play now by Westfall. Jamal ago. Welch goes up to shoot the ball. Paul Westfall comes from behind him. Watch his pass to Ricky Sobers. Ricky Sobers converts on a short jump shot. Sobers has now scored 10 points. He has eight points this quarter. As Golden State now trails the Phoenix Suns by two. Here is Derek Dickey coming into the game. That's Charles Dudley who's just come in. So Al Edels goes to his bench. I think the Golden State Warriors are going to have to look for the man that's probably got him here, Rick Barry. Down low to Barry, a clean block. Barry didn't protest it. Westfall brings the control break up. Silvers pulls up. Fires the guy, her jumping high. He can't get the shot. Rebound is down to Clifford Ray. Then Clifford Ray was there to intimidate him on that shot. 3.50 to go, third quarter. Dudley looks to Rick Barry. He's shut off. Now Silvers on him. Down low to Dudley. Bounce pass goes outside. They threw the basketball away, but it was touched by Gar Hurd. And so the Warriors will maintain possession. Charles Dudley gives the Golden State Warriors a little bit different feel in the backcourt. He'll move the ball around. He's not a very good outside shooter. A very unselfish basketball player, so you probably won't see him shoot very much. The seventh game of the Western Finals. Here's a steal by Sobers. Two on one break. Sobers challenging Barry. Goes to Gar Hurd. Clean block is ruled. A clean block, but the Phoenix Suns pick it up and set the ball up again. Boy, you got to be proud of these Phoenix. Westfall inside to Erickson, fading away. He gets it, falling back. And all of a sudden, the Phoenix Suns, who were down by six and a half, have gone ahead by four with 3.15 to play in the third quarter. This Phoenix ball club is really playing a good basketball game. Their defense is very tough. They rebound extremely well. Charles Dudley comes right back down and does it for Golden State. Dudley slipping down low, gets the ball and banks it in. And again, it's a two-point game, 63 to 61. Phoenix is in the lead. The ball goes out to Erickson. Out to Paul Westfall. Here is Erickson fading back. Cannot get the low, and Dudley takes down the rebound. Warriors getting five men down in the run. Long lead pass to Dickey. We'll see it again as Golden State wants a timeout. You can see on this play, Keith Erickson with good position. Derek Dickey just jumps right into him. Good call by the official. A slight wind would have knocked Keith down there, but he did his job perfectly. And now we have a timeout. But Suns lead by two. Four tenths remaining in the fifth game. Here they go. They get it to Fisher. He scores! Oh, Fisher scores at the buzzer! We gotta take a look at it, but I gotta tell you live, it looked good. You know, at the risk of being a shield, now I know why they say we love this game. We love this game. What a that's just unbelievable. Now the 
big story here tonight concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. Against Russell to the free throw line. Hangs in the air. Jumper good. Oh, shot. MJ, this will be the guttiest performance maybe all time. Back, Michael. Open three. Yes. They lead it. 38 points for the King. Oh. Stuck a dagger at him with a three. Classic oh. performance by the forward Michael Jordan. 11 and 9, 10 seconds to go. Ward with a pass tipped but handled by Johnson. Johnson is three-point territory but guarded tightly. Johnson cuts left, now fires a three. It is good! And he's fouled! It counts! And he is fouled! Unbelievable shot! And now here is Larry Johnson, an 82% foul shooter, looking for the lead. Free throw is good! A four-point play by Larry Johnson! Now the final second of play here in the Boston Garden. Boston up by two. Won't start until it's clutch. They'll have to throw it up. Garhead, turn around, shot in the air. It's good. It's tied again. I don't believe it. Garfield heard at the buzzer. We've got a third overtime in the Boston Garden. I got to take a breather. Garfield heard. Made the basket. I want to tell you something. Somebody up there is on our side. Rick Barry has come out of the game now for the Golden State Warriors. No, now he's going to come back in apparently just taking the last minute. He looks tired today. He's going to come back and the other four men were out on the floor and Barry's the last to join them. Don, when you have so much pressure on you, you better believe you're going to be tired. This is a very, very, very crucial ball game for them. The only ball game that they have left. Clifford Ray took the ball away from Alvin Adams. Feeds off to Dudley. Foul call goes on Alvin Adams who tried to block the shot. He gets his third. Another big play by Dudley who makes a lot of them. We'll watch it again. There he was. He's fouled by Alvin Adams on the inside. Of course, Clifford Ray made that play possible with the steal. But getting back to Rick Berry. Rick has not shot the ball very much in the second half of this game. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Warriors are going to start looking for him. Dudley can tie the game now. And Charles Dudley out of the University of Washington does it. Dudley has now scored six points. Silvers pressured by Dudley all the way down the floor. This takes a lot of time away from the 24-second clock when you're harassed and have to bring the ball up against pressure. Don Phoenix don't care if they run a lot of time up. They're trying to run some time up. Dudley's going to be called for a foul. He is absolutely all over Ricky Silver. There was a foul on Dudley prior to that. Second personal on Charles Dudley. So the Suns will bring the ball inbounds. Both teams under the limit here in the third quarter. Sober moves to the free throw line. Looks for an open man. Gets the ball to Gar Hurd. Dancing in on Derek Dickey. Down low to Alvin Adams. Foul call. I tell you, the little guy's going after the big guy today. Very intense game. I'll tell you, it's unbelievable. It pressure has affected play throughout the first three quarters. We'll watch this again. There was a foul call again on Dudley. You can see Dudley's bonding Adams inside. He's holding on to Adams. Watch Adams just shoving him away, and that's where Dudley wanted to go after. Westfall with the ball, driving hard. Here is another foul call against the Golden State Warriors. This one's on Clifford Ray, his third. Now we're going to start shooting him. Don, the Golden State Warriors have lost their composure a little bit at this point. You wouldn't think that they would do it. You'd think the Suns would do it, but Phoenix putting tremendous pressure on this ball club. When you put great pressure on the ball club, you're going to strange some strange things happen. There's a guy that's done some job. John McLeod, the coach of the Phoenix Suns. He has done a spectacular job. Taking a team, he starts two rookies at a club that was out of it in the middle of the season. They come back now, and they're... Right now in front of the Golden State Warriors, the defending NBA champions with just some two minutes to go in the third quarter. It is 65 to 63. Phoenix is in the lead after trailing by 10 in the second quarter by six at the half. Stolen by Gar Hurd. Barry against him. Gar Hurd lays it in and now the Phoenix Suns open up a four point lead. And the Coliseum here in Oakland has gone quiet, semi-quiet. It's normally tumultuous noise. But there is shock to 
Really, we are seeing Golden State having this much trouble. Well, they are having trouble. They're having trouble getting into their offense. The Suns' defense has been tough. The Suns are prepared to play. Ball tipped out. Cliff Ray gets it. Tries to stop, and he missed the stop. Up court to Westfall. Now the Suns are pressuring. Westfall goes to the basket, feeds off to Hurd. Loses the ball. Adams picks it up. No foul. And down the rebound is Dickey. Joe Hill on top of the play. Dennis Autry getting set to come in. Barry looks. Goes to Phil Smith. Driving inside. Smith puts it up. Can't get it to go. Gar Hurd takes it down. And Al Bianchi and head coach McLeod are up shouting, play it safe. Set it up. Don, they've got the lead, and they're trying to play Golden State ball game. Keith Wilkes has now gone out. He's troubled by injury to his right hand. Erickson starts to go down low against Rick Barry. Turns around. Good defense by Barry, but Autry tips it up. He can't get it to go, and Dickey takes it down off the defensive board. Here come the Warriors. The four Phoenix players are back. Smith loses the ball. Phoenix really hawking the ball. They're all over the basketball. Dudley fires out. Dickey drives, and Dickey gets the roll for Golden State. It's again a two-point game with 25 seconds left to go. with a one last shot here but Golden State should maybe might possibly get another shot at the end of the quarter third quarter coming down to the end what side they go to the Silvers six seconds on the shot clock Keith Wilkes trying to defend to get out quickly the Keith Erickson play got the shot away let's see what we have here Jerry you have a foul on Dennis Autry and underneath he's shoving Clifford Ray the Warriors are going to have to start moving the basketball with the pass instead of so much dribbling. It's amazing to me that they can play in a game like this and can't sense what, what they're doing wrong out there. Just much too much dribbling. They get the ball up court quickly to Dickey. Time running out. Derek Dickey fades away. Erickson has it length of the court pass. And the third quarter ends as in the third quarter we have an eight-point swing in this game. From six points down, the Phoenix Suns come back the lead by two, 67 to 65. We're heading into the final 12 minutes. I'm Bruce Bowen of the San Antonio Spurs. The NBA, where caring happens. The NBA, where caring happens. I'm Chris Paul of the New Orleans Hornets. The NBA, where caring happens. 7.5. They're going wild in the United States. Chicago will have seven and a half seconds in the ball. MJ, top of the circle against Russell. Michael Higgs fires. He knocked it in at the buzzer for a score. How many times has he done Forces McHale to have to switch out onto Magic Johnson, and he puts that quick dribble on McHale and gets into the defense, and there's that real, real junior skyhook working. Little stutter step confuses McHale. I mean, that's what a great ball handler and dribbler can do. And look at that outstretched hook shot just work beautiful. has done a remarkable job. Golden State, if anyone has lost their composure, they have so far in this game today. 
Golden State brings the ball in. Charles Johnson gets the ball to Dudley. Dudley running the offense. Sobers against him. We're in the fourth quarter now. The seventh and deciding game of the NBA Western Final. Don Cricky with Jerry West from Oakland, California. Jamal Wilkes puts the ball up. Off the roll and in and out. Osley gets the ball. Tips it over to Van Arsdale. We have a foul call on George Johnson. Golden State. possession of the ball. Wilkes driving on the inside. You can see Dennis Autry had a hand away. They ruled it. Autry had the ball, so it's a backcourt foul. Autry goes to the free throw line. Dennis Autry's not a real good free throw shooter, and I think he makes the first one and actually feel more comfortable shooting the second one. Very good rotation led ball right in the middle. Big veteran center from Santa Clara. He was part of one of Colangelo's best trades. They've made some good ones down in Phoenix. Yes, they have. 68 to 65, a three-point lead for the Phoenix Suns in the fourth quarter. Charles Dudley takes the ball in the corner. Al Adels is staying with him. He's played good, sound basketball. Jamal Wilkes hits it from the outside. That's the first time they've had good movement of the basketball down the floor. The previous five or six times down, there a lot of one-on-one dribbling and ran a good play. And Jamal Wilkes, a frequent easy shot. 68 to 67, the Phoenix Suns with a one-point lead. Curtis Perry looks low, goes out high. Erickson has the ball. Autry bounces down to Curtis Perry. Back to Autry. Cannot get the roll, and Jamal Wilkes takes down the defensive board. Now the Warriors can take back the lead here. The Golden State Warriors can take back the lead. 68 to 67 is the score. Phoenix by one point. 10.50 to go in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, Charles Johnson pulls up. Fires in the Warriors. Johnson scoring for the first time since the first quarter. He had 10 points in the first quarter. Now has 12 for the game. Van Arsdale looks, drives, goes through, lays the ball up. And a foul call. There will be no shot on that play. Van Arsdale was driving to the basket, but he did call a loose ball foul. That's on Charles Johnson. A loose ball foul. Five personal fouls on Johnson. He is quickly taken out of the game. And Phil Smith goes back in for the Warriors. Erickson looks, goes to Dennis Autry. Outside of Van Arsdale. Long shot by Sobers, way too much on it. Rebound down to Jamal Wilkes. Up court to Phil Smith. The Golden State Warriors here in the fourth quarter come back to take the lead. Down by one, Van Arsdale all over the ball. Jamal Wilkes fires. Tipped around. And little Charles Dudley gets it down low. We have a three-second violation. Well, a great hustle for Charles Dudley to keep that ball alive inside. That basket hurts to lose. John McLeod's going to call a timeout. He doesn't like what he sees right now. The Golden State Warriors are trying to get back into the running game. He wants to talk to his ball club. 10.05 to go in the game. It's 69-68 Golden State. Alone, stripped by Michael, stolen by MJ. 17 seconds from game seven, or from championship number six. Michael against Russell, 12 seconds. 11, 10, Jordan a drive, hangs, fires, yes. scores! He scores! The Bulls lead 87-86 with five and two cats left. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Young man by the name of Magic Johnson is going to start at center. Magic will come down the baseline and Dawkins tied him up, scored and sent Magic to the line. Here comes the 20-year-old rookie down the middle. Dawkins went to him and scored and sent him to the line. The most valuable player is Magic Johnson. 42 points, 15 rebounds, and 7 assists. He starts at center, plays forward and guard, and leads the Los Angeles Lakers to a world championship without Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Thank you. 
takes it into Bird, and Wilkins is there. Bird comes free. You are watching what greatness is all about. Lakers lead the Celtics 113-111. to 111. Well, they're going to try and make a steal here, and they got their best defensive team in there right now. And the Lakers, keep in mind, do not have to take a shot. And it goes quickly in now to Magic. Back over to Worthy, and it's picked off. Goes to him, and then he lays it off and out. It's all tied up. A great play by Hedges. For a minute there, I could hear Johnny Bruce going, Innocent steal the ball. Back to live action at Oakland, California. The Phoenix Suns now trailing by one, led by four not that long ago in the fourth quarter. A lot of time remaining. Erickson has the ball. Turns around, spins up, and now the Phoenix Suns have back the lead. 70 to 69. Erickson has now scored seven points. Don, I don't know if these players are getting nervous, but I'm starting to get nervous. I know that. Tremendous tension to this game has been from the very outset. Dudley shoots. Basket. Doesn't get there, but there's a foul call on Keith Erickson, his third. I think Charles Dudley put a little acting job on that last particular play. You notice he shot the ball off of this screen outside very quickly. But you can see the Warrior offense is really just not very fluid there. Look, he shoot the ball. He goes down almost hardly no bump. If any at all. Maybe not. Keith Erickson didn't like the call. Dudley hits the first free throw. And that ties the game at 70. We have 9.34 left to go. It's going to go right down to the wire the way it appears now. At the end of the first quarter, Golden State led by 4, 26-22, as Johnson had 10 points and Barry 8. The second quarter, Golden State moves out to a 48-42 lead at halftime, led by 10 at one point. But then, the Phoenix Suns came back to lead by 2 at the end of three quarters. Curtis Perry looks inside. He's playing with five fouls. Down low to Adam. Block. And George Johnson gets the ball. Up court to Derek Dickey. Lead to Dudley, and he lost the ball. Back over to the Phoenix Suns. And now Barry's getting set to come back in, Jerry. Rick Barry didn't score a point in the third quarter. He looks a little bit tired as we talked a little bit earlier. The great block by George Johnson. What's the hustle in this play to save the ball? Here's a play where they should probably hold that last play up a little bit and waited until some of the other Warrior members got down the floor and tried to get a good shot that way. Inbounds, Van Arsdale puts the ball to Erickson here as West Ball. Moving the ball up behind the back against Charles Dudley. West Ball can play basketball. Van Arsdale on the outside. High game, 70 to 70. Erickson looks down low. Here's Alvin Adams spinning off, and Adams turns and hits the hoop. Alvin Adams puts it through. He now has 12 points, and that gives the Phoenix Suns the lead. Phil Smith down low. Looks it to George Johnson. The roll doesn't go. Fights for the ball, and Van Arsdale comes up with it. Lead to Westfall. Charging to the basket. He lays the ball in. What a play. Don, he rode that ball into the basket so hard, he made his mind up. No one there to pick him up. 74-70, the Phoenix Suns. The Cinderella team. You hate to use a term that right, but what else can you call this club? They look like they're going to finish last in their division, and now they're leading the Golden State Warriors in the fourth quarter, but it's far from over. These Warriors, a championship team, they come back time and again, and Dudley gets it for them there. 74 to 72, Phoenix by two points. The man you most least likely think is going to shoot for the Warriors, Charles Dudley, has really played an important part keeping him in the ball game here at this point. 21 points now for Paul Westfall. Erickson gets the ball to Van Arsdale, down low to Westfall, puts it up. It's an offensive foul as Phil Smith had excellent floor position. He took the charge, went down hard, and Phil Smith is slow getting up, but he played the good defense there and gets the ball back for the Warriors. Well, again, here the, the Suns trying to run a play down in deep, and if Westfall had just made a little move under him, he probably would have had a layup, but he's so anxious to get it away. Westfall now has four personal fouls. Clifford Ray out high, holding the ball. Loops it down to Jamal Wilkes. Way, way out. Jamal Wilkes rims the hoop. Fight for the rebound. We're going to have a foul call on Wilkes. Coming over the top, trying to get the ball. He now has three. Don, it's hard for me to believe that this ball game has had no flow at all. One team plays for a minute or two. The other team doesn't seem to be able to play, and then the other team picks it up. Tension here is unbelievable. It has really affected play. Curtis Perry, the ball. His team, the Phoenix Suns, are leading by two points. 
Looks for someone to come out. Goes to Gar Hurd. Shot clock winding down. Alvin Adams is now fouled by Clifford Ray, who reached in to get the ball. Don fouls like that hurt your ball club. And the reason they hurt your ball club, the Warriors got four fouls now. Two or three of the fouls have been very poor fouls. And Phoenix, again, is going to run some more time off the ball, off the time clock. No team foul so far, but unbelievably, against the just one against the Phoenix Suns in this quarter. The next one will be a shooting foul against the Warriors. They have 14 fouls. 74 to 72. Leading goal in state so far in the game is Phil Smith. 18 points. My man in the game is Paul Westfall of the Phoenix Suns. He has scored 21. Sobers comes back in the game, yells something into Alvin Adams as he comes in, says something to Gar Hurd. Van Arsdale now moves into the backcourt, where he'll be playing with Sobers. Phoenix Suns are passing some word around. Here is two free throws at the 76 to 72 game. Phoenix is in the lead. The biggest win in the history of this franchise if the Suns do win it. But Golden State is a team that can come back so fast. Driving play by Phil Smith and a foul is called against Phoenix as Smith draws another foul. That will be a, a non-shooting foul, but the thing that the Warriors got to do, they've got to move the ball with the pass. They're just simply not getting anything with the dribble. Rick Barry gets it down low to Phil Smith. Shooting, Smith can't make it go. Elvin Adams takes the ball down. 76-72, Phoenix leading by four points. Could be a real big basket for the Suns right here. Ball is tipped away from Van Arsdale. And they rolled Dick Van Arsdale was the last to touch it. Another big defensive play by Phil Smith. So, this ball game has been a defensive ball game, Don. It certainly hasn't been an offensive game. It's been something else. 6.41 left to go. We're going to have a timeout call by Golden State. 76 to 72 as the Phoenix Suns in the seventh and the starting game have the lead. the second. No. David tapped it out, but Marbury's got it. Now the Suns to win. Marbury on the drive. Hands it. Oh! Man, can you believe it? Stephon Marbury comes out with the runner and the buzzer, and the Phoenix Suns have shot San Antonio. And this series has come to this. It would be excruciating and devastating to the team that loses this game. Rockets need a field goal desperately here. 48 seconds left. The Rockets down by two. It has come down to this. Elijah Watts spins it out on Ewing. Picks it up back to Gasol. Here's the side for three. He got it. The rookie hit it. Wow. Big shot by Gasol. One poise by the rookie out of Florida State. seconds Kobe Bryant against Christie Kobe Bryant on the move against Christie into the right flips the shot up no good O'Neal lays it up moves it ball tipped oh. out to Lurie a straight on three good the Lakers have won Robert Lurie's greatest hits tour continues oh, no doubt about it he's got to be getting a Grammy for that one Sixers and they get inside. Oh, unbelievable. Julius Erwin put a dreaming underneath. He was trapped. And he still got the field goal on Western Seven. Well, let's quiet everything after that. Watch this fantastic move by the doctor. Going to the first one, right side. Curious in the air, palming of the right hand. Floating, reaching, and spinning it in. to the 
NBA's greatest game. The NBA Championship Series begins a week from today. I think our director, John McDonough, has found a new favorite. It'll be the winner of the Boston Cleveland Series against the winner of this Golden State Phoenix game. This now the seventh game in the fourth quarter. 76 to 72. <laughs> Phoenix is in the lead. And Golden State now setting it up wisely. Phil Smith very cautiously controlling the basketball. Goes to Jamal Wilkes. Ray is posted low. Barry comes out high. Barry around the top. Fires off to Ray. He loses the ball. Picked up by Guy Hurd to Van Arsdale. Three on two. Look at John Hurd. Oh, my word. <laughs> my goodness. 78 to 72. Phoenix getting. Now Golden State throws the ball away again. Al Adels is up. Disgusted look on his face. What's happened to his team, he's saying. Silver's dancing inside. Dudley hawking him back to her. Curtis Perry shoots. Phoenix has caught fire. Their bench is up and fired fists in the air. A remarkable turn of events here in the fourth quarter. The Phoenix Suns have come back to take an eight-point lead with five points to go in the game. Don, the Golden State Warriors have just have lost their poise. That's all there is to it. They've got to get the ball to Rick Barry so he can do something in here. And precisely what they did, but he can't make it go. Up court to Silver. To Van Arsdale, and he wisely sets it up. As now Phoenix is starting to work the clock with an eight-point lead and 5.20 to go. And the Valley of the Sun is up and jumping around, I'm sure. Phoenix, Arizona has gone wild over this team. This is the Bay Area has fallen in love with the Warriors after their dramatic win a year ago. Van Arsdale's shot won't go. We have a lead on the side. Don, the reason they hit the shot, uh, the 24-second clock on top of the backboard, so the ball goes to the Warriors. But this Phoenix ball club has battered all the way, played a magnificent ball game. Their defense has been absolutely superb. A lot of people in the Warriors organization say they see a lot of likeness between this Phoenix team and their team a year ago. A young team that really made it, put it all together in one past season. Big play by George Johnson as he comes back to follow in the mid-shot by Barry. And it's now 80 to 74. Phoenix with a six-point lead. 4.45 left to go in the game. Sobers drives, feeds off to Gar Hurd. Long shot. Oh, my. He hits another one. Phoenix like they're playing at home. Not just that little bit of penetration that, that the Suns is getting is really hurting the Warriors' defense. Barry comes right back down and drills it for the Warriors. The captain of the Warriors, Rick Barry, now has scored 16 points. 4.23 to go. It is 82 to 76. Sobers going inside. Pulls up to Van Arsdale. And he wisely runs the clock. Ricky Elvin Sobers Adams. had a good ball game for the Suns today. He's really kept his cool. Curtis Perry, two seconds, Van Arsdale got a shoot, he does. Just before the buzzer sounds. On the rebound, a loose ball foul. And Charles Dudley, boy, I tell you, the don't like it here. Not one bit, but again, you've got to give this Phoenix Suns a great deal of credit. Their backboard play has really been very, very impressive. Garfield hurt, Curtis Perry, Alvin Adams. Very good. They're going to have a chance now to go to the free throw line as Golden State is in the penalty situation. Gar Hurd hits the free throw. And that makes it 83 to 76. Again, an eight-point lead for the Phoenix Suns. Four minutes left to go in the game. Four minutes to go. Plenty of time. The defending champions are on the ropes. The Golden State Warriors hit the foul on Sobers. Third personal on Sobers. Ricky Sobers makes a great block on the first Phil Smith attempt. He comes from behind and gets it. Smith picks it back up, fakes him in the air, and it looks like he hit him across the arm. No question. These guys have worked a very good game. Earl Strong and Joe Gashu. Daryl Garrison's the alternate. Phil Smith at the free throw line. And a rebound comes down to Elvin. Look at the hands on this man. 6-9. Picks it up like a little guard. Fires up court to Van Arsdale. Here's Gar Hurd looking for glass. Foul call inside. This will go against Golden State. Oh, a few times 
the day that the Phoenix Suns have tried to run. Hurd ends up with a wide open shot. Noticed a great position on the inside by Curtis Perry, and he's fouled by George Johnson. Well, this Phoenix ball club has been something today. It's been amazing, really. This is just a great success story. The Golden State Warriors, the defending champions of the league, didn't expect to go seven games. I don't think anybody expected this series to go seven games, but Phoenix won here in the second game, and now they have a lead in the seventh and deciding game, the biggest game in the history of this franchise, the Phoenix franchise, 85-76. Another fourth shot, another miss, and again, Phoenix takes down the ball. You cannot catch up in a basketball game by taking quick shots. You've got to try to hurry it, but you also try to have to run your offense, and the Warriors have been very guilty. Another bad foul. We ain't losing series in a year and a half, man. We ain't gonna start tonight, yo. We ain't starting tonight. Ellie out of the corner for three, hit it! Mario Ellie with a three! Mario Ellie oh, has given the Houston Lord. Rockets a three-point yeah. lead. It's over. The Houston Rockets have won game seven. The Rockets have knocked off the Phoenix Suns coming from behind. Three games to one to eliminate the Suns. Off it comes to Chapman. Almost overthrown. Chapman long shot. Oh! 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 The shot, even the catch was hard to make. It looked like for a moment it was going to be thrown over Chapman's head. Look at this. This is highlight room. Get down, Rex Chapman. Isaiah Thomas is hurt down on the court underneath the basket. I couldn't tell what happened. And this is a tough one. Holding his right ankle, Billy. Eight-point lead for the Lakers. Thomas with the looper scores. Two on one. Thomas goes up. And Isaiah Thomas having an incredible period. And the thing about Isaiah Thomas, he's limping on every play. Can you imagine the great performance? Maybe one of the best we've ever seen in one quarter in NBA Finals history. It's Minneapolis ball. Schaefer passes to Mike in the pivot, and the big center dribbles in and scores. There's a pass to Schaefer, and George Mikan hits with a tap-in as Schaefer misses the mark. On a pass from Pollard, Mikan feints Nichols out of position and lets it go. It's no good. Mikan recovers, and he scores as the Lakers go on to take the series 4-2 to two, to become the champions. Gary, you've seen so many of these games. How would you just break this down? What has happened to Golden State here? Well, if you look at the scoreboard, 76 points. The Golden State team, very explosive ball club. The Suns have simply done it with their defense and a good, intelligent offense. Guy Hurd dropping him coolly. The Iceman of the free throw line, he has now scored 19 points. The veteran out of Oklahoma who has played for John McLeod there as a collegian. Second one doesn't go, but it is a 10-point spread right now. 10-point lead for Phoenix. Don, there's still plenty of time. Don't there give is. up on this Warrior oh, team. There's no team in the league can go back faster than Golden State. George Johnson fouled over the top. He had to do it. Alvin Adams had position. Phoenix so very well schooled in blocking out and getting position for the rebound. Don, you know why they're always in such good rebounding position? Because they make you shoot from the outside. They don't give you anything inside. They always have men on the inside of the offensive players. They've done it time and time again today. The rebounding has been superb. For Golden State, Charles Johnson has five fouls. Clifford Ray has four. George Johnson now has four. Dudley has five. Barry has three. Wilkes has three. For Phoenix, Curtis Perry has five fouls. His play with them throughout the entire fourth quarter. Westfall has four. Erickson, three. Adams has three. Don, this crowd is absolutely stunned. The Warrior bench, if you look through bench, there's some very sad faces sitting over there. Three minutes and five seconds to go. A 12-point lead for the Phoenix Suns. Johnson pulls up, and Charles Johnson can't make it go. It has all come apart for Golden State. 
and the Phoenix Suns, the upstarts of this league, who if they win this are going to be a very definite contender to win this whole thing. This team will not break despite starting two rookies. They came back all season long. Offensive foul is called on Sobers, but the time clock is very much a factor now. Two minutes and 45 seconds left. Golden State has to start firing away. Sobers almost gets the loose ball. Jamal Wilkes coolly from the corner. And Jamal Wilkes knocks one down. But still, it is a 10-point lead for the Phoenix Suns, and they had outscored Golden State by eight straight during that stretch before the Jamal Wilkes shot. Ricky Sobers has played a fine ball game. He has he not has. gotten out of control today. John McLeod up telling his team, run some time. Be patient. Down they go to Curtis Perry. Out to Alvin Adams, and he drops it down. That might be the decider. No, that was the one that put the nail in the coffin. 90 to 78. The Phoenix Suns. What a brilliant, brilliant showing by this team. Playing away from home against a team that tied the NBA record at home this year with 36 victories. Curtis Perry has just fouled out of the ball game. Sensational game on the board for the Suns. Great ball game. Curtis Perry had 12 points. While he was in, Gar Hurd has scored 19 for Phoenix. Adams has 18. Westfall has 21 to lead all scores. Erickson with seven. Van Arsdale with two, but has played a fine floor game. A lot of defense. Now, Charles Johnson drills it from the outside. And that makes it a 10-point lead, but we're under two minutes. 1.55 to go. The and Warriors really have to gamble now on defense. They're going to try to double-team the ball, and Phoenix might really sneak under for a wide-open layup. Sobers brings it out. They're going to run that shot clock right down. 1.43 to go. And the Phoenix Suns with a 10-point lead in the seventh and deciding game. That's it. Sobers knocks it down. A 12-point lead with 1.35 to go. And so the king is dead. We don't know who the new king's going to be left of the championship series, but Golden State is going out now. The they could very well come back and win it all next year, but they'll not repeat this year as the Warriors are down by 10 points with 1.25 to go. The Phoenix Suns and John McLeod and Al Bianchi, their coach, with the greatest victory in the history of this franchise. The jubilation in Phoenix, Arizona, with the enthusiasm of the crowds there must be unbelievable in the Bay Area. They just don't know what to make of it. Johnson gets the ball from Barry. Charles Johnson. Golden State just has to start firing and falling back as quickly as they can. Doesn't go again. Erickson has the ball. It is only a countdown now. We have 55 seconds to go in the game, and the Phoenix Suns have a 10-point lead. A foul call on Jamal Wilkes, who fouled to stop the clock. Look at I really felt that when this ball game started that Golden State had a tremendous psychological advantage. It didn't work out for them. The Phoenix Suns are to be congratulated for a tremendous effort. The coaching staff has done a remarkable job this ball game. The contingent behind the Phoenix bench. 52 seconds left in the whole season for the Golden State Warriors. The Phoenix Suns, look at the Golden State bench. Now watch the Phoenix bench as we pan down. The off to your left. They're up and dancing, slapping hands. Bill Smith looks to shoot inside to Johnson, sets it down. That makes it a 10-point game. Phoenix leading 94 to 84, and they've begun to file out. Quietly, disbelieving, file out of the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum as Phoenix is going to win the seventh and deciding game on Oakland on the Warriors home court. Don, who would have believed this? Amazing turn of events as Golden State. Gets the ball back now with 16 seconds to go. Inside to Barry, he gets the bucket. It makes no difference now. This was decided some time ago. 10 seconds to go. Gar Hur takes it over the timeline. They're jumping up and down on the Phoenix bench. Richard Block, the president of this team. We want to thank our producer, Tom O'Neill, our director, John McDonough, Bill Barnes, and the game is over, and the season and oh, there's one second left. Boy, that's a very, very, very happy Phoenix Ball Club, and they have every right to be happy. And a tremendous hey, odds coming come in here to win this ball game against the World Champions. Phil Smith throws it up, and so the reign of the champion has ended here in Oakland, California today. The Golden State Warriors. 
is playing the class of champions, shaking and congratulating the victors, but the Phoenix Suns, with one of the most dramatic victories in the history, truly, of the NBA, the way they've come out of these playoffs, win the game and advance to the finals. From six points down at the half, the Phoenix Suns rally back to win this game going away as they beat the Golden State Warriors 94 to 86 to win the Western Conference Championship and now advance to the NBA Finals. Certainly congratulations in order for the entire Phoenix organization. John McLeod, the head coach, is assistant Al Bianchi. And to the Golden State Warriors, the great season they've had after 59 victories. The defending champion season ends here today in a most dramatic ending. Now for Jerry West, this is Don Crickey saying goodbye from the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum in Oakland, California. Where the final score is the Phoenix Suns 94, the Golden State Warriors 86. Phoenix flight gets in about 10. in overtime. 101-99. Here's Iverson. Lou, the defender. Stays right with him. Allen wants to go. Wants the baseline. Fade away. Yes! He's way too good. He steps around Lou and drilled it. And the Sixers have scored nine in a row. Seven straight points by Iverson. Looked like he was dead in the water. The Sixers by four. 40 seconds left. look to make their third straight trip to the finals. Well, it takes the lead pass. Reverse layup is hanging and dropping. And we'll recap the league leaders in a season where Diana Taurasi made history. Diana Taurasi now holds the single season record of points in a year. Western Conference playoff preview, starting with a late-season showdown. 
The Phoenix Mercury headed to Houston for a crucial game in the season's final week. They were trying to overtake the Comets for the fourth and final playoff spot in the West. Kostaki again, spins by Derek Janet, comes in the lane, night pass to Thompson, right to Little, lays it up and in. Houston got out to an early lead, but Phoenix came right back behind league scoring leader Diana Tarazi. And by halftime, the Mercury were up by 10. Miller to Tarasi, right to the rim, and she lays it up and in. So five in a row for Tarasi. Tarasi goes into the lane, throws it over her shoulder from her hip, got the roll, and drew the foul. Tina Thompson led a Comets comeback in the second half, but they still trail by two with seven seconds left and had one final chance. Boom. Just does hand it off to Michelle Snow, right back to Cheryl with three. Swoop, pull the win for three, missed it right. Rebound to Snow, the layup, and she ties the game at the buzzer. Michelle Snow is tied in the 89 at the buzzer. In overtime, Tarazi continued to carry the Mercury, and with her team down three in the closing seconds, she answered the call once again. Tarazi lobs it into Taylor, hands it back to Tarazi, guarded by Swoop. She comes around the screen, works top of the key, a fadeaway three, nothing but net. Are you kidding me? Diana Taurasi has tied the game at 97. As the game went into double overtime, Taurasi set a WNBA scoring record. Taurasi oh. on three, 47 points for Diana Taurasi. But Diana fouled out in the second OT, and Houston looked to take advantage. Tina Thompson kept hitting big shots on her way to a career-high 37 points. Comets need it, Comets for three, yes! Tina Thompson! Strokes the three, Comets lead by three. This epic game stretched into a third overtime where Phoenix took a one point lead in the closing seconds, but they would need one last stop to keep their playoff hopes alive. Don on the drive with two and the win, an air ball, and the Phoenix Mercury have defeated the Houston Comets wow. in triple overtime here at Toyota Center. Now Houston would need to win its final game of the season against Seattle to clinch a playoff spot. And Tina Thompson led the way once again. Thompson gets another one. Tina is red hot to start this one at home. Thompson finished with 30 points to power the Comets past the Storm, who played without all-star Lawrence Jackson. And Houston earned the third seed in the Western Conference playoffs. 89 to 72, 17-point win over Seattle. They're going to the playoffs. You either win or you go home, you know, you either do it or you don't. And if you love basketball just as much as I love, you're going to do everything you have to do to get to that next level. The defending champion Sacramento Monarchs will open the playoffs against the Comets, whose veteran point guard will have one more chance to win her first league title. Dawn Staley all the way in for the easy layer. I don't want to go into retirement prematurely. Um, I, I came back to win a, a WNBA championship with this franchise. This is, this is what we want to do. So it's, it's on our minds. Lisa Leslie and the LA Sparks earn the top seed in the West. They'll face the Seattle Storm in the first round, and they head into the playoffs with an optimistic outlook. I think we're confident, but we're not cocky. I think we're extremely hungry, and that's what I love about it. We have a lot of players on this team that want to win. They want to get better. It's just good chemistry, and so I feel really good about what this team is capable of doing. Led by their stars, Sue Bird and Lauren Jackson, the Storm won the title in 2004. Now they'll have to knock off the Sparks to have a chance to recapture the crown. Oh, Lauren sacked off. TJ came back and blocked her from the back. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now let's take a look at the final Western Conference standings. The Sparks took first place, while the defending champion Monarchs earned the second seed. The Comets, Storm, and Mercury were tied for third. The Houston and Seattle made the playoffs because of the tiebreaker. The Silver Stars are sixth, followed by the Lynx. Now we log on to WNBA.com to recap the final league leaders in scoring, rebounding, and assists. Some of the league's most familiar faces head up the statistical categories, including Diana Taurasi of the Mercury. She won the WNBA scoring crown and made history in the process. Diana Taurasi now holds the single season record of points in a year. Diana scored 860 points and averaged 25 a game, both league records. Here's Tarasi, driving baseline left, inside, right hand reverse, laid up and in. 
rookie Simone Augustus of the Lynx finished second in the scoring race, while veteran Lisa Leslie of the Sparks came in third. Here's Simone, draws a momentary double, top of the key, rising fire from downtown, and she cans it! Next up, the rebounding leader, where Cheryl Ford of the Shock led the way. Ford with an offensive rebound. Ford will put it on the floor once and then go back up and in. Really is an excellent rebounder, isn't she? Ford set a league record with 363 total rebounds. The Suns Todd McWilliams Franklin finished second, averaging nearly 10 boards per game, and Lisa Leslie was third. Drives inside on Leslie, contact, and Lisa comes down with the rebound. Finally, we turn to the playmakers, beginning with Nikki Teasley. The Mystics' dazzling point guard led the league in assists with over five per game. Teasley has great court awareness. She knows when to go. She knows when to slow it down. To Melvin, she rolls it. Tamika Johnson of the Sparks, who was traded for Teasley in the offseason, was right behind her in second, while last season's assist leader, the Storm Sue Bird, finished in third place. Nice pass inside to a cutting Lennox who catches, turns, squares her shoulders and puts it up and in. Another assist for Super. The WNBA continues its 10th anniversary celebration and here's your chance to join the party. You can vote for a different moment every week as often as once a day and enter for a chance to win a trip to the 2006 WNBA Finals. Fans can vote from among the winning moment in four different categories, greatest shot, pass, milestone, and inspirational moment, and make their choice for the ultimate WNBA greatest moment. You can make your pick until August 23rd by logging on to AOL.com backslash WNBA. I'm Bruce Bowen of the San Antonio Spurs. The NBA, where caring happens. Oh, we're in for a dandy tonight. The party continues. That's as good as it gets. That's all about hustle right there. Deep three, she got it. Diana Tarashi getting off to a hot start. Don't bring that weak stuff in here. Oh, oh my goodness. Somehow gets the roll. This is amazing. What a move. What a pass. Welcome back to WNBA Action. Now let's go back into the action to continue our playoff preview. This time, we spotlight the Eastern Conference. Everybody listen up real quick. Listen up, listen up. We're going to the playoffs, and we're going to get us a championship, okay? After narrowly missing the playoffs last year, the Washington Mystics made sure it didn't happen again. They won seven of their last 10 games to earn a spot in the postseason, giving Elena Beard another chance to fulfill her dream. You know, it's funny, I've only been in the playoffs once. Every single time I step on that court for practice, I'm dreaming about being a champion, going to that finals and winning a championship with this team. And I just wish that it would come into fruition one day. Felicia Milton-Jones won two rings with the Sparks, and now she's focused on bringing a title to Washington. Well, last year, I kind of shied away from the D-Nasty role, but this year, I think D-Nasty has to come back, because championship is not just something that will be said lightly. It will be something that is said, and we will mean it. Washington's first-round opponent also means business. The top-seeded Connecticut Sun have lost in the finals two years in a row, and that's made them hungrier than ever to capture the ultimate prize. Last year, we fell short, and to know that, you know, you fell short, but it was a winnable series, I mean, that gives you all the more confidence the next year. Um, and with us playing so well now, hopefully we can go ahead and close the deal. When I'm out there, I love this game. I play with heart, I play with compassion. I hate to lose, and it shows on every single play. Tamika Catchings leads the fever in every statistical category, but what drives her the most is the goal of leading Indiana to a championship. Oh, another steal. 